Hey everyone, this is Nick, and I wanna to talk to you about these framed bar charts. They are so chic. Don't you think they're the chicest bar charts you have ever seen in your life? This was a post that I saw on LinkedIn by Brent Dykes, and he was talking about framed bar charts. So you can see over here in his post on the left, you have this regular bar chart in orange. Uh, but then he has two options for these, what he's calling framed bar charts. And he notes in his post that a lot of designers use these framed, uh, this sort of framing technique as kind of an aesthetic feel, uh, but without purpose. And he is making the point that these framed bar charts really do have a purpose. And that is, if we look over here, on this option number one, you can see this gray area right here. That is sort of that framed area that's showing us the maximum potential of each of those items being selected. So you have this sort of treatment here with the gray in that in that area, and then the blue the blue uh, here at the bar chart is showing you the value of the bar chart. Or over here, he does this sort of uh, filled uh, empty effect with the framing uh, with the outline here in blue, and so it kind of gives you this like I'm halfway full, three quarters full type of feel. Uh, right here in this sort of treatment. And I wanted to show you how you can make this in PowerPoint. It's really, really easy, and all you need is a very standard, simple 2D clustered bar chart that we are really used to uh, inserting. So I'm gonna go over here to my slide, and this is kind of like a mock-up slide of what I might use this for in my own visitor studies data. So I might have asked visitors at a museum or maybe it's a public event or a program, you know, how did you feel? And I have a checklist of emotions or experiences. And so this is what they selected here. And this is that framed bar chart treatment right here. Uh, and I can ju I just pulled out the top three emotions or experiences that my visitors selected in this. But I think this is a really cool way to present uh, survey data that is select all that apply. So basically this bar chart is kind of a visual cue to my reader that every visitor who responded to my survey could have potentially selected each of these items at 100%. All of the visitors could have potentially selected all of them. And of course, that probably won't happen, but it's a nice sort of visual cue to let you do that. Here is the other uh, treatment that Brent Dykes did over here with that sort of empty outline feeling with uh, the rest of those framed bar charts. Pretty nice. Okay, we're going to go over here and I'm just going to make this for you. I already inserted a bar chart and I made the bar chart beautiful like we have in so many other videos before. It's just a very standard um, clustered bar chart. If you click on the chart, and you made it here in PowerPoint, you'll see that the chart design tab opens. And if you click on chart type here, you can see it already goes to the exact type of chart that I have right here. So uh, that's just kind of a way to check what kind of chart you have in your slide. But what I wanna do now is to make this uh, framing effect. I wanna go ahead and right click and we're gonna click on edit data. So we open the source data file. Remember, every chart that's built in PowerPoint has this behind the scenes Excel table that it's pulling from. And you can see here's my data here. It's ordered least to greatest because um, Excel and PowerPoint like to flip those on us. So in my chart, I have it ordered, uh, the data is ordered greatest to least. Uh, and in the source data, it's uh, ordered least to greatest. So all we need to do here is we need to add a new series and it's just gonna be my 100% series. I'll just call this the frame series. As soon as I do that, it's going to, the table will automatically update so that now there's this empty series in my chart. And all I need to do is type 100% and copy that down the whole column right here. Let's see if I can get that little cursor to work. There it is and just copy it down 100%. Now I'm gonna close out, and you can see now that I have this clustered bar chart effect uh, right here. The 100% value is a new data series in my chart, but all I'm gonna do is first, we're gonna update the colors, format data series, let's update it to that gray color. The fill color will give it a nice little gray right here. And then all I need to do is go to the bar chart icon up here in the format data series menu, and all we need to do is adjust the overlap to 100%. That's going to overlap the bars by 100%. And what we'll see there when we do that is you get this chart, uh, you get that new data series on top. And all I need to do to swap that is edit the order of the source. So all we're gonna do is go up here to the data menu on the ribbon, click on select data, 
and the select data source menu pops up. And right here under legend entry series, it's data and then frame series. What we need is for the data series to be below the frame series. And all you need to do is check this little down arrow, and it's going to update that. We'll click OK. And now you can see my framed bar chart uh, is super, super beautiful. Now, if I wanted to make it that empty fill, all I need to do is click on that extra series of data, go up to the bar, the paint can. We're going to say no fill, and then update the border to that blue. Beautiful framed bar chart here. I hope you use it to visualize your select all that applies survey data. And if you like this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell next to it. You'll get notified every single time I post a new data design tutorial in PowerPoint, Excel, or Word. I hope you had a great time watching this uh, video. I had a great time making it for you, and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time.